You heard that, didn't you? College football nation. Jeremy Pruitt just records his first win as a Tennessee head coach, and that spells trouble for the rest of the college football world. Look at this comparison right here. See how big that helmet is right there? Uh, that's how large our defense was today. Large and in charge, just like me. Some people call me Large Marge, but that's just not right. Tennessee and Jeremy Pruitt destroys ETSU today just like I told you they would. My cousin Jugs here, he's a big ETSU fan. He owes me <laughs> he owes me some money now. And uh Bucks let him down. Bucks let him down. Quan Harrison did not disappoint though. As I said in my halftime video, he balled out for the Bucks like I knew he would. My other Green Devils, I don't think, got to see the field. Well, they saw the field, but they saw it from the bench. Which is more than I can say for myself. I've never seen Neyland Stadium from the bench. I've been on the field before, but not as a football player. Uh, I chose to go elsewhere. You could say. So Tennessee gets the 59 to three win. Uh, look, there's no re there's no need to even make a video analyzing this game. Uh, to quote a famous former NFL head coach, we were who they thought we were. Isn't that how they said? It? Isn't that how you said it, Jug? We are who they thought we were. Uh, anyway, Dennis Green, Dennis Green, as the Cardinals coach way back when, saying we sucked. They know we sucked, and we let them off the hook. But Tennessee did not let the Bucks off the hook. They put the hammer down in the second half and got the win. Next week, a fearsome, tough, hard-nosed, gritty. UTEP minor team rolls into Knoxville. Look for another ass whooping for that one. The game we're waiting for is in two weeks when the Gators come in, and they are currently 0 0 with the Kitty Cats from Kentucky down there in the swamp. Uh, you know, hey, look, it's a win. And as a Tennessee fan, personally, it's been a long time since we've been able to say that, so we'll take it, right? Right. How do you analyze a game like this? You beat the hell out of a team you should beat the hell out of. The only thing I would say is our offensive line still sucks. That was a glaring situation that I noticed. Yeah, Shy Tuttle gets a little love. He he did good today. Darren Kirk was it Darren Kirkland or Micah Abernathy? One of them boys had a pick. Uh, so it was a win. John, your Buckeyes won fifty-two to three. Uh, uh, so yeah, go ball, screw y'all's uh, Greenville video, which I know you all are eagerly anticipating on the edge of your seats. We'll be up later tonight. Uh, exciting stuff there. Shocking result last night from Burley Stadium in Greenville. Greenville fans will be shocked at the result of this game. Go Vols. See you real soon.